Hello everyone, and welcome to this video about introducing you to the Vog Sphere. The Vog Sphere, as we're going to annoy you with during the next three years, it would be nice for you to know what it is. Apart from being the homeland of the Vogon people in the excellent book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, by the way, if you haven't read it, shame on you, you should go read it right now. Apart from this, it is a really important system at 42, the turn-in system. That means this is the system with which you'll turn in virtually every project at 42, except two or three where the turn-in will happen to be a little bit different. But as it will be systematically notified in those cases, you shall consider that all of your turn-in will be done with the Vog Sphere. The Vog Sphere, basically, is a turn-in system which uses Git. And what is Git? It's a version control system. To those who don't know what a control version is, it is basically a kind of intelligent archiver for your source code. It is a program that keeps a history of the modifications you made on your source code. It allows you to go back in your changes and lets you decide in which order you want to reapply those changes. That lets you create branches, different modification branches you can then abandon or gather. That allows you to make a few different working copies to synchronize the code between the different members from a working group. As you can guess, you'll find this very useful and we think it is very important for you to use it from now on. Please note this very important thing. The following video is a practical example about using the Vog Sphere to allow you to make your first turn-ins easily without getting lost. However, it won't be a handbook about how to use Git. The next video assumes you've uh, the next video assumes you've read the documentation about Git. You can find the documentation really easily on the official Git website, which is git-scm.com. That's G-I-T-S-C-M. You'll find a very good documentation there. Otherwise, you can also ask Google Learn Git or Git Tutorial. You're big boys and girls now, you'll manage to find it. So if you don't already know Git, I advise you taking 20 to 30 minutes to read the documentation. It isn't very long and it will avoid you having headaches when you'll be watching the next video in which I won't be explaining what I'm doing. When this is done, we'll meet again in the next video. See you.